Thursday and today is back to work day for me. So I am back to being a part-time hobby Bricklink seller. So no more full-time eight hour day um, down in, in the shop, which will be sad. Um, I did miss it. It was hard. It was a lot of hard work. I think we're going to talk about it in the next brick separators because uh, I think it's a good topic to talk about that good insight for a lot of Brickling sellers who are just doing this as a hobby and wanted to go full-time. There's a lot of stuff to think about. Anyways, I've got I wanted to get up really early this morning, pull my orders and try to get some things done before I went to work. Nope. Yeah, I didn't get up <laughs> get up too early. Um all right. So we got a couple orders, a brick link, brick owl. So one thing to to note here is I did dial back my sale. So um I'm back to the original sale price that I had before last week where it was painful so that's why we have less orders I think this order on Bricklink because it came in maybe an hour or so after um I dialed it back I think they've like they had this in their cart and they just didn't want to give up on it <laughs> so that's why I got big big order on Bricklink um so two orders total um small one on Brick Owl and then I got Pretty decent one on on Bricklink. I, I was looking through it. I think it was mostly minifigure pieces. So should be able to get through those two fairly quickly. Oh, I don't have a eBay tab open real quick. Let me uh there. I got one on eBay. My dog just slammed the door open to come see me. Hi, buddy. So I sold that Shadow Stormtrooper today. And I thought I had all of the parts to build him. When I went, I'm like missing the legs. And then I'm like going, wait, I had another helmet. Where are that? I, I like went through my drawers at least four or five times. I'm like going through all of this stuff on my table. Going through all over there where I, where I had everything tore apart. I even went, <laughs> I even went back to my blog that I had... I've uploaded and scheduled just to see like yeah these are the these are the two pieces I'm missing where are they I don't know where they are I I can find Ray I can find all these guys I can't find these two pieces and I've been looking for like I'm gonna say half an hour for, for where these things are I was getting really really frustrated and then I went back to the listing I listed it three days ago <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the legs, the legs and the extra helmet are in the envelope now. <laughs> I use them to list this. It's sold three days later. I totally forgot I listed it. So uh, we call that in this, we call that a senior moment. Who's laughing now? <laughs> it, shut up. I got a big box delivered in the mail today. I wonder what it is. Let's open it up and find out. Well, here it is. It's the uh, it's the storage boxes for um, sports cards. Uh, three of these. Some assembly required, apparently. No instructions, so let's figure it out yourself. Doesn't seem too bad, I don't think. I think this is the bottom. And then these are the little um, uh, inserts in the middle to make the, the columns. And they're, they're perforated here, so... I think that's like one, that's two, that's three, and there's three sheets of that. And then the bottom, I think this is the top, this is the lid. And so, let's see if we can figure one out. Well, there we go. It wasn't too hard. Um, a little smaller than I thought, but there you go. These, uh, these little tabs, I'm always surprised that like the whole thing like stays together by like this little bit of cardboard that like goes into a into a slot and it like holds the whole thing together. But uh, these things, they have like two little tabs that flare out and they go behind them and that like really holds it in and gives it enough enough stuff. Otherwise, it was like it was flopping out because there was too much uh, too much give. So let me uh, let me put in some of my minifigures into this box and let's see what it looks like. Here's a comparison with my monstrosity that I that I made versus the one I just bought. Mine's a little longer, so I might like be using three of these 
these rows here. But uh, yeah, let's get some of this moved over. Oh, they're going in. Uh, one thing I'm finding is the uh, little separator cards that I made for separating the different themes. They're a little too wide, so I've got to like trim them down a little bit so that they they fit nice and smoothly in there. Otherwise, you get like my like, test way too big. But I can't get it in there. Uh, yes, I have those kinds of problems. Too big, can't fit it in. Well, they're all moved over. Definitely a lot less room in the box here. Uh, I try to leave some room at the end so I can like add some more in. Um, and then I've got a few here, which I still need to add um, some category divider cards, but I'm waiting to uh, part out another set or two to be able to use that plastic. But here is uh, here's the old box. You can see I just used I just cut some cardboard into strips and then use some tape. Basically, I did the same thing only I don't have the I don't have the cardboard that's coming over. It worked. It like I said, it, I'm pulling on it like this with my thumb, and so I'm pulling the tape off. If it's starting to come apart, needed to add another row here, and I was too lazy to do it. So, uh, yeah, these are easy to do. I don't like the price of them though. Ten bucks per depending on what you get too right like there are other ones i could get they all, all come in like packs of three to six and it just drives up the price one you know if you just buy one it's like twenty dollars and it's, it's a stupid stupid crazy so uh so this is my for sale box so i save one another one of these for another for sale box because I can see this getting full quick. I'll probably just, first thing I'll do is I'll probably just move the Star Wars out of it. Probably have a box of Star Wars at one time, at some time, another box for Ninjago because those are the minifigures I have the most of and then this would be other. Um, and then um, the other box here I'm gonna have for I'm building, this bin here will be replaced with a box for just building minifigures, waiting for parts. Hey, it's Friday. It's August 20th. I'm down in the shop here, trying to pull my orders. Got four orders, three on BrickLink, one on Brick Owl. Nothing too crazy. Should be able to get this done fairly quick. 36 lots, 156 items, $45. On eBay, got uh, one item to pull, so it's nice, nice day here for pulling orders and then going to work. Okay. Hey, I want to call out something. Uh, Brick Arena has started a vlog for uh, his channel, and I watched it last night. Thought it was really good. Um, one, I wanted to show this this one little clip here. I thought it was was great. Yes, when the trolley's full and not backwards and forwards constantly. So hopefully that's a good addition. Um, I know that there's some better trolleys out there and a lot of the guys, uh, particularly the American sellers with their huge basements have nice trolleys. Um, yeah, you know what they say about a guy with a huge basement and a nice trolley. Yeah, they must have a nice big house on top of it. Seriously though, I had to laugh a little bit. And then go back up. Reminds me of Pops' uh, cart, how loud that thing is. Um, it, I know it's it's not funny because mine doesn't make any noise, but um, I was just, when I watched this the first time, I was like, ooh, he's going to have to get some throwdown rugs to quiet that thing down. But really great uh, vlog, really good look into like the uh, the British side of uh, selling, reselling, and especially around um, you know what they have to do for mail. Uh, I'm sure watching our vlogs from from their point of view is like I don't care about the USPS that, that doesn't affect me. Well, now I now I see how they they feel when they're watching our stuff. So, uh, but very good vlog. Twenty, what is it? Twenty twenty six minutes. Go watch, go give it a watch, Brick Arena. Well, this is just getting out of control. Look how big that is. It's not as big as my basement though. I'm just proving a point, you don't have to celebrate it, Frank. 
So Lego of Ideas, um, one of the sets that reached 10,000 votes is this Princess Bride set, the Gilder Frontier. And it's got all these minifigures. Uh, I just find, I just think that Lego is not going to build this, this set. I, I don't know. It's just inconceivable to me that they're going to build it. As I told you, it would be absolutely, totally, and in all other ways, inconceivable. 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 Saturday. Um, Going to be a light day down here today. Brick Owl, one order, one item, one lot, 782. Um, eBay, much better. Two items. Get those out quickly. I always find it funny when I look at my, um, my YouTube channel and I see, like, the latest upload. Uh, you know, Bricklink is pain. That was a week and a half ago's, uh, content. It's, it's so funny, like, Lego Vlog number 43 has been scheduled for four days now and is scheduled to release tomorrow i'm currently wrapping up lego vlog number 44 that's what this is um so like i'm always two videos ahead of what gets released and so when videos get released and i'm seeing comments come in it's just weird to me sometimes because it's like i have to remember what the context of the comments are sometimes just because of how far ahead I am in content. Um, I'll say as a producing these videos, it's so much easier now when I have content scheduled in advance so that <clears throat> like if I need to, before I was doing it Sunday to Saturday and then making sure the video was cut Saturday night and uploaded Sunday and that was actually quite painful every Saturday night because like Saturdays I would be down here filming throughout the day and then I'd go upstairs and then like around 11 o'clock I'd be like oh crap I gotta get a video out and so that would take an hour because it would take an hour because I'd have to render the video and then upload the video and you'd have to sit there and wait for it because you want to go to bed so here I can like render it go off do something you know come back hours later it's done start the upload go you know go away and come back um it's much much less you know frantic and then you know i can do the the little thumbnails um at my leisure as well so i don't know it's it's just so weird i wonder if like many brick lickers are, are the same way i like how how they scheduled their content so far in advance do they even remember what they did by the time it comes gets released only able to get one of the two uh, relisted, so he's been put back on eBay. So I'll put him over there, and then I've got a bag of minifigs that came in the mail. Uh, these need to get put away because I listed those. These need bags. This is all stuff I did up at my desk yesterday while I was working. Uh, Place some orders for him. I need some more pieces for him. He just needs a blaster. Um, that's this is one piece of mail here. Uh, where's the other one? No, another piece of mail somewhere. Just left on my desk. Where's it over here? No, nope, over here. All right. Um, I didn't put it in here, no. So this uh, this came yesterday. This should help uh, clear some stuff up here. Some more Indiana Jones heads. I think he's keeping me from. Uh, that's keeping me from listening to them right now. Uh, or that's what I need. Just some legs. Loki legs. Loki torso. Uh, Darth Vader, Darth Vader's head, which is, will get, allow me to relist him right away. Um, some black legs. I don't know why I buy black legs. I got so many of them up there. Uh, yeah, more lightsaber stuff. Yeah. Let me go through it.
just got those two orders put away that I that came in and then went out to the mailbox and there was three more in there. So let's get working on these. Here's the first order. I wrote on the side of the bag, thank you for your order from Alamo City Brit minifigs. And then they even provided a ba little bag of extras, which is kind of neat. Kind of necessary, but kind of neat. Um, let's see, I'm going to dump this out. I think this one's just some minifigures. So this is a Commando Droid, uh, Shadow Trooper, some minifig parts. We need that one. Right? Is that the one with the white? Yep. That's the one I can get him relisted. Some more Shadow Trooper parts. Uh, I think he goes to the Naval Imperial Trooper. And then I think I threw him in because he was cheap. Yeah. And then a whole bunch of capes, which I really like how they did this. It's just I think it's just a 3x5 card and it's taped on each side and then wrote on the front what, what they are. So that's kind of cool. So first order done. Well, this first order had a problem. I ordered three of these um, 522 traditional starchy capes. This one is the only one that is the right, the right part. These two are actually a different variation of it. So it's got like a dark, dark red on one side and then red on the other. Um, it feels a little bit shiny too. Um, but I looked it up. It's uh, Oh, do I have it here? Hold on. Find the right tab. Oh. I've got way too many tabs open. And I've lost it. I must have... Let's see. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So it's a variation of 522. It's 522PB005 uh, and it's it's an actual part. It's a different part. It goes to a different uh, um, minifigure that I had never seen before, which is uh, the Royal Guard with dark red arms and hands, but it has this different um, different cape. So uh, I asked for the right parts or a refund. I will see what happens. Second order, um, more red capes. These all look good. Um, I got two green capes. Here's one. I put one on Loki already. And then, um, a yellow cape. This looks like a bright light orange to me, but when I look it up on, on Bricklink, the only known colors are, that are in this, like, sort of shade are yellow. But this looks too orangest to be yellow. So, I don't know. Um... Yeah, <laughs> I found this funny. He put the arms on backwards so that he looks like he's uh, he's all pumped up. Uh, but yeah, okay. Next, here's the third order. Another shadow trooper. Um, let's see. Helmet and legs for the Imperial Navy trooper. Uh, I think these are heads for Loki. I'll finally take him off. To take that off. Yeah, three heads for Loki. Sword for the pirates. Is that dark gray or is that dark bluish gray? That looks like dark bluish gray to me. I'll have to take a look. Oh, there's the dark gray one right there. I ordered four of those. I'll have to look in better light. Uh, Loki's helmet. That allows me with that I can list him. Yeah, small order. Get this going. Oh, I heard back from Alamo, Alamo City uh, Bigs. They uh, wanted just wanted some pictures to learn what the difference was because they thought it was a red cape. So I sent them some photos, and uh, they said they were gonna refund me. So that worked out good. After I got the swords in the better light, they were uh, they were dark gray, but this one had a problem. It's got two marks. You can see it. That one shouldn't even have been sold. It was 16 cents. I'm not going to complain about it. But that's pretty bad. That shouldn't have been sold at all. Look at it. It's all over the place. 
So I was just going to town on that one. I got this small minifig lot off of eBay the other day. Um, it came in a couple days ago. A bunch of accessories, some decent, I don't know. Some, I, I figured a lot of these would just be parted out. Um, there's some city stuff in there. But there's a couple Star Wars in there. There's a clone trooper there. Um, I, I think I only spent $15 on this. So, like, I think I could easily make the money back with some of these minifigures. However, what was also in the uh, the bag, and this wasn't on the listing, so it was a total surprise to me. It was all these, like, new parts that were in, the, like, these, like, small bags. So, like, there's lots of good stuff in here. So, but I have to go through it all. Crazy. And then, like, this Legoland Discovery Center brick. New in packaging. I, I didn't even know that was coming, to be honest with you. So, that sort of worked out. And now for something completely different. And, uh, let's just do some math. So... 8114 times 0 0.8 because that's 20% off so 80% of that value this is what I'm going to put the parts at and this is what normally would go at so it's a little bit less um, and then divide that by $24 2.70 part of value 750 with tax and let's actually get this number and just do it again because I don't do this often so um, so we, we're only going to get 80% uh, of that number, uh, so 334.92, uh, so 334.92, but we paid 137.50, did I, did I remember it right, I don't even know. So in the end, I don't know how that comes out to that. Uh, 0.78 plus 46. Alright, so this is what I paid for all. So I paid more than that, it's weird. Alright, so what we do, we time out the big ones as the biggest lot count of the weekend. So 66, so it's almost 10 items per lot, it's 9 roughly. Um, so you can do 300 lots per hour at about 5 items per lot. So we cut that in half. So 150 lots in an hour. So this should take me um, 20 minutes, 22 minutes, something like that. We have a completed order here. 66 and it's 819. So it took me 15 minutes. Now I was thinking about it as I was pulling it, um, the multiplier, because Ralph's been talking about this on his vlog, uh, about how long it should take when you sees an order, when you talk about multipliers, things like that. Uh, it's cause I've determined it's five items per lot. You do up to 300 lots per hour. Like, no distraction, just going constantly moving fast. No interruptions, anything like that. So. I don't know, there's got to be a better formula, because this one was 9 items per lot, if I'm doing the math correctly. 9 times 6 is 54. Alright, so it's around 9, but anyway. So, if it's 4 more lots, items per lot, what should you take off every... Should it be like... I don't know. Go figure. Math is hard early in the morning, but... What the hell is he talking about? No clue. Thanks everyone for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to Ralph's Bricks YouTube channel by clicking our icon here. You can watch our last store vlog video by clicking here. You can watch the latest video that we've produced here. And don't forget, you can find us at ralphsbricks.com.